but this is the Paper World, the annual exhibition here in Frankfurt, and we've been coming now for well, three years in this hall. This mm -hmm. is the, the top hall for stationery and top quality gifts, very much in our sort of way. Um, and it's been very, very successful. We've had three good years in this hall, but actually we've been at Frankfurt for probably seven years now. Um, and uh, Leathersmith has become really part of the Frankfurt show now. The Leathersmith um, programme, the Leathersmith co collection, is divided really into three. We have diaries, we have social books, address books, notebooks, and we have our new, and well, very new accessory range. So if you look here at the diaries, we've got uh, a typical Leathersmith diary will have blue paper inside. Um, it, it has a very, very soft, pliable feel to it and, uh, and very traditional. So this is a, a traditional Leathersmith diary. It's actually uh, very much as, as you would hope it to be. So we have a nice printed end paper with the word Leathersmith, almost like a watermark really on it. Blue paper and in this particular case it's a week to view. We have lots of information for ladies, first aid, household hints, uh, international cookery terms, that sort of thing. And at the back, really uniquely really, we have um, an, an index section of faint rule paper so that people can actually make notes of it. Ribbon bookmark, head and tail bands, that is the essence of the Leathersmith diary. This is our smallest book. It's very small, and you know, the indexing that, that does oh. this. Can you see how, how minute or... it is? And of course, you can <laughs> tuck it easily into the back, into the back pocket. So that's um, the smallest size that we do. And then we work up until probably an A5. We have this one here, which is the largest size we do. Um, and this is very much a social, again, a social address book. So their address books, the most popular, the most popular product in the leather, the biggest, the best seller in the, are the notebooks. So this is the largest size of notebook we do. And we have plenty of paper for people to write on. The gilt page edges, the ribbon bookmark, the head and tail bands. And this is our new chocolate porcelain, uh, introduced only last year. This size we call our Barclay size, which is uh, Notebook. And again, it's the flexible cover, the head and tail bands, the ribbon bookmark. So we do we cover all the sizes for every alternative. Now, the most the, the most popular colours uh, still are black and red. Uh, and we've introduced various other other colours. Pink, for instance, has now become really a classic colour rather than a fashionable colour. We introduced it originally as a fashionable colour probably four or five years ago, but today it's, it's, it's so popular that it's, it's, it is really a classic colour. And we have um, other colours you can see around here. We have our aqua colour. We have uh, flame, which again was introduced last year. We have the gold. Uh, over here, which is very good, and our new colour, the apple colour you'll see here. And this is, again, with this porcelain finish, um, which is, I think you'll agree, is a, is a, is a lovely colour and a lovely grain. But this, this really takes us into the accessories. The accessories were only introduced into the Leathersmith, the latest Leathersmith range. When, when Leathersmith was created uh, back in the 1920s, TJ and J. Smith made bags, they made, obviously they made the books that traditionally and had been doing so for, for nearly a hundred years up to that time, but they had been very much a very high quality leather goods company, so they made everything you can think of that you make in small leathers. Since then, Leathersmith tended to filter out of it, and it was only when my family, the Neal family, bought it in uh, late 1980s that we decided to bring back the uh, you know, the wallets and so on to the range. And really, it's only become really popular in the last three or four years. But now we have a very, quite a large range of items. Um, apart from the, the obvious wallets, that was a travel, that was a, a Voyager purse you saw there. Here we have a travel wallet, which is in the brown. Um, and as I was showing you a little earlier here, it goes round the neck. And we even have a police whistle 
for the ladies if they get into difficulties. Again, last year we introduced two new items in, which are uh, photograph frames, which we see down the bottom here. This one is in the apple. We do three sizes. You know, you just pull, pull, slide the back and put the picture in and shine it. It's very nice indeed. In addition to what I've shown you already, we also do a range of very old traditional English deskware. So, and this really dresses up people's desks. Uh, and it, again, it's very popular. Even though not as many people these days use the fountain pen, this is used to, you know, block when you've been writing with a fountain pen. And we have a pen pot. We have got a larger rocker blotter here, and this is very useful, a little notes box, uh, which, um, you know, you'd like, like to try to open it up and just so there's... We have a calendar which you actually have to tell the date to, which it turns round, and we're... On the show, I always manage to keep it on the right day. Mm -hmm. I hope, is it? <laughs> yes, Jesus. Yes. And here's a little library set where you have uh, the paper knife, and a pair of scissors. So, so again, a very old traditional collection, but still very popular. It's available in brown and green in this lovely porcelain, and in black and red, and in the aqua colour, and also in this flame, we call this flame colour. Traditional English music bag. You know, you put paper music when you go to your piano lessons. Oh, okay. So you, you tuck your papers in here, and it's very traditional. And you just have a bar, and you put it over there, and you carry it like that. Oh, yes. The old traditional photograph album here in the, cho in the chocolate colour with the old-fashioned sheets. So these are, these, these are just two new items, and they're symptomatic of what we're doing with Leathersmith at the moment, gradually developing it. We sell Leathersmith into, uh, obviously, retail shops uh, in, in England. We're in uh, Harrods and Selfridges and Fortnum and Masons. The three, they're the three biggest retailers. We just managed to get ourselves into um, Paper Chase, a few of the Paper Chase shops. We're also very, we've been very successful in Italy and Japan. Uh, selling into some of the best stores, um, in the case of Italy, very high quality stationery stores, in the case of Japan, I think, into department stores. Um, and, we're in, and we are also selling into the United States and France, where we have a lovely shop on the South Bank, um, where one of our directors actually has, a, has, has, has his own shop. Um, and, we, and we've been quite successful here in Germany. Um, in fact, most of our visitors uh, at this fair have been small German retailers. Mm -hmm. So Leathersmith is uh, moving along very nicely and uh, you know we have a great we have great hopes for the future of the brand. <laughs>